Hi, I'm Jim and this is my wife Melissa and we're here in our exhibit at the Marshfield Zoo. Uh, we started rescuing monarchs uh, a few years ago and with the help of Steve Burns, the zookeeper here at the zoo, we were able to get this exhibit with the help of the Zoological Society and Mill Creek Gardens. We are passionate about raising and releasing monarch butterflies to help the population. The population has been on decline and we try to do our best in, in raising them. And last year we raised 608 monarch butterflies and this year we're trying to get to a thousand. The exhibit will be pretty much available throughout the summer till the end of summer until the uh, final generation of the migrating monarchs uh, migrate to Mexico this, this fall. Uh, so basically it'll be open to the public until the monarchs are completely gone. And so with the help of Mill Creek Gardens, we were able to fill the exhibit with um, different flowers that are ne good nectar sources for the monarch butterflies. Uh, we are currently sharing the exhibit with the two turtles, Millie and Vanilli. Millie and Vanilli have been very good roommates and we've kind of... Quiet. <laughs> And we've kind of grown accustomed to them. We do a lot of egg hunting in, in different areas of town. We uh, collect the monarch eggs, we take them home, and we have, um, we have a little process at home where we use old fish, fish tanks. Um, and we basically, we collect milkweed, feed them milkweed, and when they get to chrysalis, we bring them here to the zoo, and they will eat you close here at the zoo and then we um, collect them here and then we usually have our releases here at the zoo. Uh, we try to do releases nightly, um, usually around the same time every night. We generally like to go about six o'clock, that way people are done with supper or at least getting done with supper. Um, at the releases, uh, he gets the butterflies out of the exhibit and we have it in a net. And anybody that wants to join can. I, I do try to get the butterflies that want to stick around. I try to hand them out to little kids or anybody that wants to hold them. We've had little kids from tiny little babies hold them to 90-year-old little grandmas in a wheelchair. It, um, everybody gets enjoyment out of them. So every night, yeah, around 6 o'clock, I will post times. If we do change a time, it will be on our page, Marshfield Monarchs. So if you ever want to come down, check out our page, check out what time we'll be down here and join us.